Hey friends, hey, welcome back to the vlog. So today's vlog, um, we are doing a little chit chat. Um, I went on a shopping haul over at the World Market and a lot of what I've purchased is gonna go right here in the primary bathroom. So today we're gonna be talking about all the things that I bought in my haul. We had a couple of people send us some gifts. I'm gonna share those gifts with you. Got a couple, got a handbag, uh, some nice bathroom accessories. So. Those will be included in the video. I tried to get this video down as short as I could, y'all. It was just a lot going on. But so you're gonna need your tea, your coffee, your wine, whatever you choose, but pull up, uh, get relaxed, and let's talk about all this goodness that came in um, and get to this uh, master bathroom update. Let's hop into today's episode. And I changed the location. Uh, I had to run, go get the kids. I made it back home. Um, so I needed a quiet place. And the quietest place right now is in my room because the children are everywhere and I wanna get this done. So to start, we're gonna start by unboxing the gifts that were sent. Uh, I'm actually re-recording this because I recorded earlier and it was just, I'm gonna stop unboxing on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some bloopers at the end, but anyways, so first things first, let's talk about this fabulous handbag um, that was sent to us from our friends over at Teddy Blake, New York. So this bag, maybe, I don't know, a couple weeks back, I got an email. Now I've seen these guys on YouTube. I, I didn't pay much attention to them. I'm just getting into bags, believe it or not. It's much stuff as I like. Shoes are more my thing versus bags. I'm really just getting into handbags. So when I got the email saying, hey, you know, we saw your channel, we like it. You know, we wanna send you one of our bags. Just pick whatever you want and we'll send something to you. I was like, hmm, this might be a good opportunity to try something fancy uh, and see how I like it. So first of all, the site has 999 options. So it's really hard for me to choose. But I wanted something that I could double as a crossbody, maybe, but something that was a little bit more dressed up. So when I go out for date nights and stuff like that, I'd have something appropriate. So this past weekend was birthday. Shout out to everybody that has wished me a happy birthday all over the internet streets. I see you, I appreciate you. If I have not gotten a chance to respond yet, I'm coming. It's just been quite busy. Uh, but this past weekend was Mother's Day, it was my birthday. So I was like, well, let's try her out because I wanted to try it before I came and talked to you about it. And I can say, honestly, that this is probably one of the best bags that I've had. And I'm not, you know, I've got some Michael Kors bags, some coach bags, stuff like that. Um, and this, this is, this outperforms in my opinion, I think. So far, so good. So this particular bag is 11 inches and I'll bring you up closer to the camera. Um, it's made out of real Italian leather, like the designers have been uh, recruited out of Italy. Like they've really taken a lot of thought into the bag and I'll do some close ups so you can see, but very reminiscent of one of those really popular, uh, really expensive bags receipts. Ah! Um, there's a lot of space. So this bag actually comes, and I'm gonna take my junk out so you can see. Y'all, I got James Avery boxes. I got some more charms for my bracelet <laughs> for my birthday. And I meant to go drop those off and I didn't get a chance. But anyways, y'all see how much stuff I am pulling out of her just so I can show you what's going on because I want you to get a full view of what we got here. And this is just me throwing some stuff over in it from one of my other bags, um, but I love. So this bag, this particular bag is 11 inches. It's got a, I don't know what you call this. I am not a purse connoisseur, but it closes like this. 
I've seen that on one of those more expensive bags. Uh, you've got a zipper in the back, which I probably wouldn't use. I don't know what I would put back here, but it's deep enough for you to put like cards or something. It goes all the way down to like here. When we open it up, you've got tons of space. If you're not a big bag girl, uh, they do have some bags on the site that uh, are a little bit smaller in size. I just got something because when I'm out, this is just big enough for me to put all my junk in and still be able to kind of throw it across. It comes with a crossbody bag. I've got uh, a little lock here where I can actually lock the bag that comes with the actual keys. Comes with the keys that matches the bag. I thought that was really cute. Um, but yeah, so I really like it. This is a crossbody again. If you're not a big bag girl, no problem. Uh, I've got some promotions down in the details in the description of today's video that you can go and check out, but I do really, really like them. So, um, Luxury bag, really affordable price. I'll leave some additional details uh, that the brand wants you to know about them, but I like it, I think it's nice, and I am willing to go and purchase uh, some of the other ones that I saw because I love them so, so much. So that's our Teddy, bag, Teddy Blake bag. It comes in this box. You also get like a nice little dust ruffle. So if you wanna store it, um, if you're not using it, you can put it on your dust ruffle to keep it clean. Uh, I will likely, once the closet is done, have my really nice bags on display. Uh, here's the crossbody strap. Uh, but yeah, and you can put it in this box if you want. So I'm probably going to store it in the box while I'm, you know, until my closet is done. But once the closet is done, then she'll go on display because she's display worthy. All right, y'all, so let's get into these candles and smell good. Um, that we got this week as well. So my friend Ebony over at Luxurious Ambiance Candles reached out over on Instagram and asked if she could send some candles. And y'all, when I went and looked at her profile, I was like, yeah, girl, send me the candles. <laughs> so um, I love having a spa like smelling home. And y'all, when I opened the box, to these candles, the smell hit me so hard, I decided to wait and do the unboxing on camera. So forgive me, I'm a little raggedy at doing video unboxings, but we're gonna get through it. So right now, um, there's quite a few goodies in the box. So she sent some candles, of course, to help with lighting the candles, right? We got a couple of sandal samples of some wax that we can warm up. And it smells absolutely divine. So I don't currently own a wax warmer, but these smell so good that I'm now on the hunt for a wax warmer so I can warm them and have them to also put a nice smelling fragrance in the home. So uh, let's go ahead and open the box. What I do like about what I can remember about what I read over on her website is that she tries to incorporate some real acts of sustainability into her product design as well. So even the packaging, like these little marshmallows that Summer likes to call them, you can actually run them underwater and they'll dissolve. So I'm not, you know, like the biggest advocate for saving the planet, although I do care about it, but I just think that things like that are really nice touches. And I love working and purchasing from brands that kind of keep that in mind as well. So first thing we're looking at here is a room spray, which is sitting on my nightstand because I think it smells absolutely gorgeous. Even just sitting in the bottle, it smells really good. We also got like a five ounce candle that's sitting on the side table in my bathroom. And I don't know if I should like the step stool, something, it's sitting in the bathroom. And then this larger candle is actually sitting on the counter and I burned it today and kept the doors from the bathroom to the bedroom open and it had the entire part of the house lit. Like it is, ugh. the scents that come from what she's done, she's onto something y'all. And I'm, I'm a hard sale when it comes to stuff like this because I like candles, I like to have stuff all over the house. So I would be completely honest with you. I wouldn't even be sharing this with you if I didn't think it smelled good. Like it smells like the spa. So I, I am 
I was sold already because I hadn't even opened the products. But once I was able to burn them and get a true um, experience with them, I can tell you 100% that this is worth every bit of whatever she's charging for it because you will love the fragrance that is um, put into the air from as a result of using these products. So in addition to that, I am always a sucker for good packaging. So we've got some dust uh, ruffles here that the candles are sent in. I love um, I love when women pay attention. I mean, you know, we already pay attention to details, but I love when it shows up in our product and our work. Um, there's something special about when we can articulate our vision through what we send out. And I just love supporting small businesses that pay attention to the details and everybody pays attention to the details. So these wicks um, are the wicks. They do crackle. It's an amazing, I think it's, what is it? Um, it's retail. It's like relaxing for me. <laughs> I just like the way it sounds when the wicks crackle. Um, so those will crackle uh, in both the big size candle and the smaller candle as well. Um, the fragrances I will list down below in the comment section. One is between the sheets and then the other one I think is like blessing, something like that. And they both smell absolutely Amazing. It's hard to articulate how a candle smells in a video, but y'all, legit, if you could think about what it feels like when you walk into the spa, like when that smell first hits you when you open the door, that's exactly what these fragrances are reminiscent of. And I absolutely love it. Um, it's, summer, it's, it's summer approved as well. <laughs> she was helping me with this unboxing, my baby loves to open gifts. Get back some of you all in the way, girl. Uh, but she just like her mama. She like to get something pretty in the mail and she loves for it to smell good. So um, I would absolutely go and connect with Ebony over on Luxurious Ambience. I'm going to leave her Instagram information down below so you can go and check her out and shop. Um, but I think that if you go and try it, you will not be disappointed. So thanks, girl, for sending me over my goodies. I appreciate it. And they are lit and being put to good use. So let's hop into the rest of the video where we talk a little bit about how I spent my money this week and start to decorate my master bathroom. I'm such a messy unboxer. <laughs> like, I'd be all over the place, y'all. But that's all right. I'd be excited about my gifts, though. I'd be excited about my gifts. Y'all know gift giving is, I like to give and receive as a part of my love language. All right, so let's get to what I spent my money on. So, <laughs> I went to World Market, Home Goods, and I dropped in Kirkland's to see if I could find anything because last week I just didn't do much. The fence got finished last week for the backyard. Where I really want to be is outside. Um, my patio furniture hasn't shipped yet. The order still says processing. So I haven't, you know, and, and it was leading up to my birthday. I've got a senior that's graduating. So these the end of school activities are like piling up on each other so I really didn't have a whole lot of time last week dedicated to like design work but I am ready because it's so hot outside and because so much is going on I'm ready to kind of like have that one space in the house that I can just fall into and that usually falls in my bedroom and my bathroom so my bedroom is set it's not designed it's just set up so that it's comfortable it's cozy for tim and i there's a lot that we want to do in here but i was waiting we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, i'm waiting to do some of the painting and the wall design in here because i'm an ambassador for a paint company and i wanted to kind of try their products see how they work before i decide what color is going to be in here but i need the space to be a space where i can settle in so i was like you know what you haven't done a whole lot else in the dining room. You know, let's get the bathroom set up that way from the bedroom to the bathroom at the end of the day. When you're tired, when the kids are pouring you out and you just kind of want to fall in and relax, that space becomes that space. Because right now we just kind of winging it <laughs> because there's been so much going on. So while I won't be finished today, um, 
I've got some stuff in here that is going to start to create that relaxing environment for me so that I can truly decompress at the end of the night. Um, because that is one of my goals now that I am 39 on the road to 40 is to learn how to truly turn off at night where I can be present with myself, be 100% present with Tim, um, be present with the kids. Like we've been going, going, going for over a year and my body is starting to feel it because I'm tired. So I really want to work on the spaces in the house that are going to ignite that relaxation for me. And some of those key areas are my bedroom, my bathroom, my patio, my backyard, which is why I've been like, ah, I just want to go outside. I just need to be outside. And it's because I know that backyard is just me and Jesus, y'all. Like I can sit out there for hours and just meditate and look up in the sky and try to get you know, just the download from God, oh, where to go, what to do next business-wise. Um, it's missing, you know, that relaxation piece, but just like I'm looking at it from my bedroom window now, it's just, oh, even at the end of the day now, like I've got three weeks before driving back and forth to the other side of town. Like we're spending four and a half, almost five hours in the car every day because it takes us a couple of hours to get them dropped off with traffic and a couple of hours to get back because of traffic, to go get them and then get back because of traffic. Um, so that, that time is almost done and we will be officially settled in or moved to this new area where we get to start to dig in roots and create the, the life that's gonna be for some time to come. So there's places in my house that help to kind of trigger that activity. And this is the time of year where we really come alive. I like to work on the patio. Um, at the end of the night, I take a bath just about every day. You know, the shower is a shower that I would shower every day too. So like, I'm really trying to focus on those areas, which is probably why I hadn't been able to get too far in the dining room because it's not one of those areas. The kitchen, yes. My bedroom, my bathroom, outside, all of those environments kind of create that whew, for me. So all of that being said, let's get into the stuff that I bought. So first things first, I want to show you what I did for the outside because I went to Home Goods and y'all know how Home Goods is. I did not go to Home Goods looking to buy stuff for the patio, but you know if you see it, you got to get it because the likelihood of it being there in five minutes is a zero. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. And I think everybody in their mama know that Whole Goods restocks on Tuesdays. So I saw it and I was like, nope, you gotta go home. Because if not, when I come back tomorrow, because I'm going back to World Market tomorrow, when I come back tomorrow, this ain't gonna be here. So I found two cushions for the patio that will go on pre-existing furniture, maybe. Um, and then possibly on the, the side chairs that come in. So this particular so my theme outside is kind of like a navy natural kind of vibe uh that's just the colors i don't know what the theme is that's just the color palette so this first pillow i thought was like oh this is divine so you can unzip it so i can wash the cover if i want i could put a new insert in here every year if i want um it was only 19.99 so i was like girlfriend i'm getting my basket because you're going home so i've got an egg chair outside that I think this would be great in. Uh, once I get that chair cleaned up or my aluminum chair cleaned up, we'll see. And then worst case scenario, if it doesn't work for those chairs or those chairs don't get to make the cut on the outside living room that we're creating the patio, then it will serve its purpose in one of the chair, in one of the new chairs that is actually on the way. So I thought that was really pretty. I'm not a matchy matchy girl, but I do like to coordinate. So I saw this one same brand uh different material or different design rather same color family navies greens pinks that was kind of like my vibe today because there's some other stuff i'll show you in just a second that kind of fits this color palette too that's going in the bathroom and this cushion was 24.99 so again it'll either go in one of and i really love this detail where this separates Ugh. I can't wait, I can't wait. Like every day I'm checking, I'm like, did it ship yet? Did it ship? Because <sighs> my patio's calling me. So these are our only two items that I bought for the patio. I only got them because I was at Home Goods 
and I knew it was now or never. Um, I am, however, dot, 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 <laughs> going to World Market again tomorrow. Once Tim gets home, he traveled today. He'll be home tonight um, to do some more shopping for the patio because there was a bunch of cute stuff that I saw as far as accessories were concerned. And I want to go and take him with me so he can have some input on that. So $24.99, $19.99. Yes, baby. Oh, yes. Hold on one second. All right, here you go. Love ya. All right. So, let's start with the stuff up close and then I'll spell you to show the stuff in the back. So, for the bathroom, I wanted a big rug because we've got quite a bit of space on the floor. And I saw this at the World Market. This is from Japer. Japer? Japer? I can't remember how to say it. <laughs> but I see them at market. Um, when I do go, I hadn't been in like a year or so, but they have like an amazing talk at market, this designer. And I have one of their throws and I love them. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is so cute. I know it's colorful. I know it's got some pink in it, but Tim don't care <laughs> about these areas. That boy literally is gonna go take his shower, brush his teeth, and come on up out of there. He don't chill like I chill in these spaces. Like he'll chill in his man cave, he'll chill outside on the patio. But this area right here, this is mine. So I saw this and I'm really going for like a natural look in the bathroom. Uh, it's really cold in there right now with the black and the white. And I want to soften that up. So we're going to try it and see how it works. I think this is really pretty. Um, and I think that that kind of set the color palette for what I was working on in the bathroom. So that's like the primary rug. And then we've got these bath mats that kind of soften the space as well. So they're beige color. They kind of accents. Let me see if you can see that. Nope, you can't see that. So like the rug is like a beige color that kind of accents that rug. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna pull together. I got two of those rugs and that's the rugs that we'll step off of um, when we take our showers and such. So in addition to the rugs, I also got at Home Goods, some more towels from a decor standpoint. So right now the towels that I have hanging are all white. And while white is pretty, I will use the white um, to like bathe with and stuff, but I wanted to add some color. I wanted to warm it up just a little bit and I didn't want you know, I like the whole bathroom to be pink, but I did want to add like some beiges and stuff in there. Now I found these at Home Goods before I got the rug. And now that I'm looking at it with the rug, it may not work, but we're going to put it in there and see how it comes together. And we might be surprised, but I don't know, that may not work. Well, I don't know, it's kind of pulling. You can't see it now, but once we get in the bathroom, they may come together real nice. I like that. So those are, that's a towel that will be used for decor purposes. So I've got the bath mat size and I've got the hand towel size. I think these were, let's see. These were $7.99 a piece. I got two of them. And then this two pack was $12.99. So we'll hang these, I probably, I might, have to get like a beige towel to go in between because these will hang next to the sink and these will hang uh, where the current hanging towels are. And I need some additional towels. I did not like this on this. It just doesn't pop. So there's gray in that, in that towel and there's a little like a blue gray in the rug. I might go back and get some gray towels cause there's like a little olive green color. I don't know, we'll see. But I know I'm gonna need some towels cause I like a plush 
kind of towel bar where you've got this, the bath towel, the hand towel, and the face towel. So they didn't have those matching towels at Home Goods. I also saw something similar to this at World Market. So when I go back tomorrow, I may pick up a hand towel and a face towel to kind of complement it. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. All right, so that's towels and a rug. So in addition to that, I like greenery. So I'm gonna add another planter because I think in this environment, like a um, bird of paradise would be really pretty in the bathroom, but there's some things that I wanted to set in place before I got like a flower pot, before I got a planter and a actual plant to go in there. But I saw this and I already have some plants in there and I thought this was really pretty. So this will sit on the countertop with this eucalyptus. Girl, like, can you say spa? That is gonna be so pretty. Uh, of course I'll bend these over and maybe I won't, I don't know. But the eucalyptus was $7.99 a, a piece at World Market and this vase was $21. 99 and it's really textured again it pulls the colors in from the rug but it doesn't make it too much and i'm going to surround this with some wood and stuff like that so i think this is all going to come together really pretty it's going to be a really pretty start it'll be a really easy way to start to kind of calm myself at night um and then once this is all set up i'll see what else i want to fill to the space because i don't like a lot of stuff on the countertops in the bathroom. I really like it really clean. So we'll see though. So I've got a big space in the middle that that vase is actually gonna sit on right here with the eucalyptus. Uh, the can, ooh, excuse me. The candle will sit next to it. I may fill it with some hand towels or face towels, I'm sorry, that are easy for us to grab. But I thought this was really pretty, really pretty. And then I got some knickknacks from the world market. So I've got this turban so that when I am washing my face, I cannot find my other turban. I have not been able to find her. So when I'm washing my face and doing my skincare at night, I can pull my hair back with that. Um, I use a face, like a bar soap when I'm washing my face. Um, so I got one of these just to hold my face wash. Now, this is so pretty and I got two of them and I don't know, here, let me see if you can see that. I don't know if I'm gonna give the other one to Tim cause he really don't have stuff sitting on his counter like that. Um, but we have to get the, the cotton ball, the Q-tip and stuff holder with the wood top, but I thought this was really pretty because I need something to hold my soap. And they've got these little pieces that you can put in between the soap and the soap dish that keeps the soap from like sticking to the soap dish. And it's like a charcoal soap. I'll show you when we go in there. Um, but I need something to sit it on because right now it's in one of those travel containers. Ah! Uh, so I tell you, we just living our, we, we living in the bathroom right now. Ain't no rhyme or reason, we just in there, so. We're gonna put it together though. It's gonna be good. Um, in addition to that, I also got like, I love these little dry scrubbers. It's a dry scrubber and a massager. This was only $4.99. Like World Market has some of the best spa bathroom stuff. Um, and I get these and replace them like every three months. So I've got this. Um, the soap dish was only $7.99. So I thought that was super affordable. Um, I got some replaceable, like washable. Again, I'm trying to be more eco-friendly. So I got some cotton makeup removers. I use like a micellar water to wipe my makeup off at night. So I got some that are reusable. I'm gonna see how it works. I'm a brown girl. I don't know if brown makeup is gonna come out of these, but it's worth a try. So instead of buying those cotton ones, or not the, yeah, instead of buying the disposable ones, I got these, these are reusable, you use it. Run it in a washer, we'll see how it goes.
And this was only $9.99 and this is a pack of 10. So I might go back and get some more, but we'll see. I got me a candle snuffer. That's the same color as the um, hardware, not the hardware, like the faucet and stuff. It's like that satin nickel. I don't plan on changing the faucets and stuff in the bathroom. I think I'm gonna keep it. I say that now until all of this stuff goes in, but I think I'm gonna keep it as the satin nickel. Um, so I got a satin nickel candle snuffer that matches. It was $7.99, world market, by the candles. And then we got some shower steamers. Uh, I like to get these because when I do take a shower, I drop it at the bottom of the shower, not in the direct water, but this is lavender and chamomile. And it just kind of releases essential oils into the air, kind of helps you relax. It's a whole vibe, you know. So when I take a shower again, it's cool. Cool, cool, I got that. So those will be there. And then the last thing I got was this jasmine and rose um, bath oil. I will probably not use this. This is probably just for show. I am really particular about what I put on there. So <laughs> this may not make it to the, um, to the bathtub, but it smells so good. So I was thinking every once in a while, you know, if I don't wanna burn a candle or anything like that, you know, you put it on a cotton ball kind of leave the cotton ball out and this provides some fragrance for you. All right, y'all, I was just running my mouth and the camera had died, the battery, not the battery, I think the memory card. We, this is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think we left off here. So I got this, I got it for aesthetic purposes, okay? This is so pretty and they sell so many different types of these. If you can't tell, pink is kind of like my color right now. Um, but this is jasmine and rose. And it's a bath and shower oil. You can absolutely use that if you want. I'm kind of particular about what I put in my bath water. Uh, but I think you can use this as a massage oil too. So no ideas, but some ideas, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> this one, I want to say was, how much did this cost? This was $16.99 and I got this from the World Market. I'm, I'll give you a close up of all of this stuff at the end. I know I'm wearing white and it's kind of reflecting bad, but I think this, I thought this was really pretty and I'm looking forward to adding that to the counter. All right, let's talk about hard stuff, meaning like towel racks and stuff. So right now we have a towel rack installed, but it is primarily being used for aesthetic purposes, which is good. I wanna keep doing that, but we don't have anywhere else to hang our towels. So currently we've been either laying it on the tub, on the side of the tub, letting it dry off or putting it over the shower. And I kinda of wanna stop that because when I get out the tub, I wanna step on the mat, dry off, put the towel somewhere so that it can dry off, make it easy for me to grab when I'm doing laundry every day. Um, easy to grab, throw it in the laundry, put it back so it's time it's so to be ready when Tim gets home for his bath or shower rather so I bought this again in an attempt to add some warmth it's got three rows so this is plenty of space for Tim and I's towels um and we'll see how it works I've got a little corner that I'm looking at putting it in I want to put a planter with a nice little plant on it too that's gonna sit next to it, but I've gotta see what kind of space we have after. I, I felt like this was more important than the plant because I have other places where I can put some green stuff. So this is good. I'm excited about trying this out. We also, oh, and that was $69.99 from World Market. Nope, from Whole Goods. We've got this stool. Uh, and I purchased the stool for a couple of reasons, you know, in those spa-like bathrooms, you always see the stool and it's got all the spa toys that I just bought sitting next to it. I think that's going to be cool. But in addition to that, I need a step stool. I want to give Summer back her step stool. So I've got blinds installed in my bathroom and I can't reach the twirly part. And Tim's not always home sometimes at night and time enough for me to close the blinds so I can take my bath. So I have to borrow a step stool. And every morning when she comes downstairs to brush her teeth, cause she wakes up, she comes to my room and brush her teeth. She takes her stool, <laughs> she puts it in the kitchen. She's like, mommy, this is mine. <laughs> 
So we're gonna stop that fight today. I'm adding this step stool for dual purposes. It's gonna be both aesthetic and functional to help me reach my blinds. And it's gonna add some wood to the space, which I think is really pretty. I can't wait to see all this stuff come together. Um, I don't think this is it. I've got some stuff in my Amazon cart that I think we will still need for the top of the counter. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about where we're going so far. All right, and then the last piece is this beauty back here. I've got a gold medallion, like art piece of art in the bathroom right now. I hadn't put it on the wall because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the brass or if I wanted wood artwork. So I got this from World Market today. It was about $150. Um, and I'm gonna compare. Once everything is in, I'm gonna say, okay, do I want the brass? Do I want the wood? How are we gonna go? So I think with what I got today, it'll be a good start to create this spa space. Once the stuff from Amazon comes in, it'll be able to kind of complete the look. The only thing that we'll have open still is like the countertops and that'll suffice until we get to the point where we're ready to take on like the woodworking projects. Um, there's a specific design I have for over the tub in my mind. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or if I'm going to have to hire out and we want to paint and kind of darken it up a little bit. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I think this is going to be a good start for me to go in and just kind of whew, at the end of the night and have it to be a good flow from there to in here because these same colors I plan on pulling into the bedroom. Um, the blue gray on the wall or the olive colored green on the wall um, and the artwork and stuff in here. So um, that's what I purchased. That's what I bought. Uh, in addition to that, when I got home, I'm going to lean this up. I got a fun project that I'm going to be working on in my office in the next month or so. And... The samples came in. So there's this company called Lick, which is a paint company that's new to the US. And they reached out to see if I wanted to try some of their products. Now I agreed to do this collaboration over on TikTok, but I want to give you a sneak a peek -a at some wallpaper because it came, the samples came in the mail today. And when I looked at the wallpaper, I was like, so I'm going to give you a sneak peek, but if you want to see like the sample colors and kind of the direction that I'm going, that I think I'm going to go in the office, you have to follow me over on TikTok because that's where I'm going to be kind of going through all of those things. So my office is going to be a total vibe. Like it's my she space. It's that other space that I was talking about earlier where I'm going to be able to go create work, vibe out like finally get back behind a microphone for the podcast. Like it's gonna be a whole mood in there. And I'm gonna try something extremely out of my comfort zone in that space. Um, and I felt like since somebody was gonna be willing to provide the supplies for me to go all out, I might as well go all out. So just to give you a little sneak peek, here's the wallpaper that I'm gonna be playing with in that space oh girl girl friend like you don't even know it's about to just, it ain't gonna be like I'm about to do something real crazy in there I can't even believe I'm about to go here but I'm about to go there so I just want to give you that little sneak peek um if you want to see what that life is about, you got to go over on the TikTok and follow me because that's where I'm going to be sharing that. So that's it of what I've purchased for now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the bathroom, get it, I'm going to change clothes, go in the bathroom, get it cleaned up. We may not decorate until it's a little later. I've got a lady coming over to do some water samples to talk to us about a water softener in a few minutes. So I'm going to clean up before she comes. So when she's done, all I gotta do is go in the bathroom and kind of lay this stuff out and start to decorate. But I'm really excited um, because this is even a different color palette than what I thought was gonna go in there. And 
yeah i'm feeling the i'm feeling it i'm feeling myself so stick around we'll be right back i'm gonna go clean up and then we'll be back when it's time to decorate all right y'all so before we get started hey y'all uh i kind of wanted to show you where we are right now i'm gonna turn on all the lights just so you can see so right now you know we just kind of living as you can see the bathroom is nice like i still love our bathroom we still got plans for over here we're not addressing any of this today just because we can't <laughs> But I'm gonna come in real quick, clean up the countertops. You see, I dirty clothes up under there. I need a hamper for under there. Just a bathroom like this, you're supposed to be able to come in here at the end of the night and just decompress. And right now, it's just a space for us to use. So usually I'm sitting in the tub, there's music on in the bedroom. I mean, the bedroom <laughs> is more relaxing than what it is in here. So I really just need to get this under control because right now it's not under control so real quick i'm gonna clean up everything get everything ready to rock and roll uh y'all see all my personal affairs over here i took tim's down for privacy reasons he don't like all his business in the streets <laughs> but yeah like these white things they're pretty but we got to wash them like every day it's annoying so I don't know. We're gonna see what the space does. There's summer stool. <laughs> There's my blinds. I can't reach. But we're gonna re kind of do some stuff in here and see if we can get us in position to to chillax at the end of the night. Okay? So let's let's get started, friends. But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday we can work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night. Too late to try, baby. I don't dare to love. 
So here's a sneak peek at the final look. Um, so far, I am extremely pleased. I was able to bring in the natural elements that I wanted to make it feel like a real like zen-like space. Uh, but it's also really cozy. It's got a lot of natural elements that I absolutely love. Um, I think I'm still going to add a shelf above the wooden artwork behind the tub where I can do some trailing plants. Uh, I'm a plant hoe, y'all. So I'm all about them. And this bathroom is perfect because it gets the perfect amount of light and the humidity from the shower is just amazing. The plants that are in here, they love it. So... I'm loving all the texture and the detail that's included in here so far. Uh, even with the rug being a very bold statement piece, um, I think it works. I feel like I like it. It's giving me real summer boho um, and I can definitely see myself chilling in this space. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you a quick glimpse of how it all ended up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm so curious to hear what you guys think. Uh, do you like color in your bathroom? Like what's your bathroom vibes? But so far I am absolutely in love. Now it's time to go take that good bubble bath. Bye friends. It's me.